Hi beauties! Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be doing our uh, our go-to skincare yeah. as of right now. Mm. Um, this is after or before we do any makeup. Um, you know, because you got to keep your canvas clean, and um, that's the only way your makeup will look good. You can't just ignore your skincare routine and expect your makeup to be flawless because it's not. Your skin is going to either be super oily, it's either going to be super patchy from all the dry spots you have, or, you know, just in general, you just, you only have one, so you got to take care of it. So, yeah. Yeah. Makeup can only do so much, yeah. and, you know, if you, t if you don't take care of your skin, the makeup will never look good. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, if you guys want to see what we use, just keep on watching, and hope you uh, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the little bell so that way you guys are up, uh, notified every time we upload and all right you guys so in the morning um, I don't use that much uh, products I use only two things and that is this is uh, my holy grail it is Peter Thomas Roth it is an Irish Moor mud purifying uh, cleansing gel it um, you wash your face and um, it helps you it says it purifies uh, decongest skin removes and dissolves uh, pore clogging oil and impurities helps smooth clean texture with anti-aging Irish more mud hijiki seaweed sorry if I messed that up um, lilac acid and salicylic acid uh, tree oil and willow bark for all skin types so um, what I do is I wash my face I put it on it's just uh, it's just a wash that you put on your face and it totally keeps you um, matte all day it's supposed to declog your pores um, me being very oily I feel like it keeps me matte all day long like I and the thing is though even though it keeps me matte all day long um, I don't feel like my skin is so tight and dry to where I'm like oh man I need to add anything um I do have to say my real big problem area is my nose um I do feel a little bit oily though but not like as if I'm not wearing anything at all um so I definitely use this in the morning and at night this right here is only about a month's worth um of using it and this goes for $30 and I highly recommend it to anybody that would love to try it this mm -hmm. is my go-to right now I highly, I really really love this stuff for our moisturizer I use the Avon a new moisturizer um they have different stages of these so you can um this is for like 20s and there's ones that go for 30s 40s and 50s each uh age level that you're at um, it smells really good. It is uh, a little, just a little white cream moisturizer. I love the way it smells. Um, but uh, yeah, so this one I use um, right after the uh, Peter Thomas and um, even before I go to bed or before I put my makeup on. For my nighttime routine is when I really like put everything on my face. Um, I go in with this uh, to declog my pores, especially when I'm using makeup. I like to feel like it actually took everything off. Um, then I go in with, I actually get um, this from Mary Kay. It's called uh, Clear Proof. So this is my toner. I put it on a cotton ball and I just put it all around my face. Um, it has, it's for blemish control. It has 2% uh, salicylic acid and um, this is really good for people that have um, are acne prone uh, like me I break out really easily also because I have uh, I'm really oily so mm -hmm. I like to use this um, I try to find I've gone to other stores and I've tried other stuff and it doesn't really seem to work for me so um, I my sister sells Mary Kay so I just said okay what the heck I'll try it <laughs> And um, I have to say, this is something that I really like so far. It's working really well for me. Um, so after I put on my toner, I go in with the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Mask. Um, we got this in a boxy charm, And I have actually been using it. I put it on in the middle of my forehead, uh, my nose, and uh, my cheeks. Uh, because those are my problem areas with um, pores. So I put it on. Uh, when you put it on, it turns like a blue color. And um, once it's dry, you just wash off your face. And you can, for me, I don't know, 
but uh, about other people. But for me, when I put it on, I can really tell that my pores are really smaller, are way smaller, and um, it works really good. You only put it on for about five ten minutes, and then you wash it off. And then um, after I go in with that, I go in with the needles no more, no more baggage, uh, Dr. Brent under eye gel. And it's like an orangey gel. I didn't think it would be orange, but uh, oh, that's probably not a good one. It's orange like that. Um, I like it. I put it on, under my eyes. Um, it doesn't feel like it's just sitting on top of your skin. It actually soaks in and it, dry, it dries up pretty quick. So it. It doesn't feel like, oh, I have something under my eyes. Actually, and I feel like it has been working. Um, I've been using it for about a month now, and I feel like it definitely has taken away uh, the color and the baggage under my eyes. Um, after I go in with that, I also go in with another Mary Kay product, which is called um, Clear Proof uh, Acne Treatment Gel Acne Medication. And it looks like this. I don't know why, but I always, I tend to forget about this all the time. I feel like, um, this right here, if you have a pimple, I have a pimple right here right now. If you have a pimple, um, all you need is very, very, less than a, less than a pea size. Um, you put it on, you just dab on your little pimple that you have, go to bed, and you wake up and it's completely flat. This one is still there just because I keep picking at it and I don't know how to leave it alone. Um, but this really works. Um, I highly recommend this to anybody if, just for a spot cleanup. Um, you put it on, the next day it's gone. It is really gone, which is really nice. I like this. So after that, I go in with, um, Juice Beauty, uh, Stem Cell Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. Your girl is getting up there in age, so <laughs> I put this on all over my face um, and it tells you you can put it on as much as you want apply a generous amount to cleanse face and neck so um, you put on as much as you want around your whole face and it's supposed to help you and I feel like it is helping I've been using it and um, I did feel like I was getting starting to get a little wrinkled spot on my forehead because um, I tend to frown and you're animated yeah I use my I'm animated as she <laughs> yeah. said um, and uh, I don't see any really now, so I feel like it's really working. I like it. I do use it on my smile lines too, and um, it's uh, it doesn't make you f it doesn't feel sticky, doesn't feel tacky. Put it on, it into your skin really fast, and it's it's actually really nice. So I like that. And I have a couple things, a couple more things. So um, after I'm done with all that, I go in with the Clear Proof oil-free moisturizer for acne prone skin again like I said I'm real um, acne prone so this is a good moisturizer because there's no oils in it and um, you just uh, put it on your skin and it doesn't feel tacky it feels actually really nice um, there's no smell to these so to all the Mary Kate products I showed you that's in this line uh, in this line doesn't have a smell so it's not um, it's also good for real sensitive skin too, which which I am. So that I like that too. Okay, so once I'm done with all that, I go in with Mary Kay Satin Lips like this. It's a tiny bottle, and um, it's to exfoliate your lips. Uh, it looks like this. It's just like that. And you rub it on your lips and then wipe it away and it keeps your lips really soft. The one thing I really have to say is this is the only lip exfoliator that I have seen that after I take it off, um, my lips are real red and they look plump for some reason. Like, and it doesn't say that it's a lip plumper. I really like this. This is uh, kind of pricey, I believe. This is only three ounces, so I think it's like 12 or $24. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but it really works and I like it. So this is what I go with all the time. Um, after that, I feel like, you know, I have to put something on my hand. Hands feel constantly dry. Um, so this is at the end of the day because I use a different one for um, during the day. But at the end of the day, I use the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which looks like this. Is, this one came in an Ipsy bag a while ago that I had and I love the smell. Um, I put it all over my hands, I put it on my elbows because I have dry elbows and actually it helps. Uh, the dryness on the elbows have gone away. I love the smell of this. I got it in a boxy charm box. 
It was like it was the round one though. Right? Yeah, it was a little bit bigger, and um, so fortunately, I haven't had to go and actually pay for any of this. But um, I definitely love this. This is really good. It's really moisturizing, uh, especially for your hands. So I definitely recommend this too. Um, so that is it for my <laughs> stuff. Um, and next, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, these first two products that I'm going to show you, I don't use on a daily basis, but I do use throughout the week, um, the Biore um, pore strips. And this one has the combo where it comes with the face strips and your uh, for your nose. And so with this, I use, I would say a good three to four times a week because I do get a lot of clogged pores right here. And it works really, really well. I got to say that this is probably the only pore strip that I've used and I've tried a lot and um, these ones work really really well and then also um, probably I use this once a week maybe twice no maybe once every two weeks it depends um, this is the Bosio Bos Bos I'm not sure how to pronounce it don't, don't quote me on it but it is a luminizing, luminizing black mask um, and you can put this all over your face and this is also a peel off mask that's supposed to peel off your you know blackheads or imperfections that you have throughout the week and so after I go in with these products either one um, I'll go ahead and start cleaning my face and I'm currently using the Murad um, essential C cleanser and this is supposed to be just kind of like um, a vitamin packed cleanser that's supposed to give you like a little bit of refreshment through the, in the morning and then at night as well so yeah with this one I use all over my face um, around my neck area and then just clean it with um, rinse it with water afterwards and then I pat dry my face with a towel and um, the next uh, step that I do is a toner and right now I'm currently using the Biore um, toner with witch hazel and this one is a pore clarifying toner um, it's supposed to control your oils and deep clean for clean pores and I like stuff like this something with um, alcohol in it just because I feel like it cleans your face I don't have sensitive skin but my husband does and he actually uses this as well well something like this not all the time but this is what we've been both been using um, I recently just ran out of the I think it's called Dickinson's toner um, I'm sure you guys are uh, familiar with it but we just ran out of this and this is the product that we've been using for a few days now and we actually really like it so um, yeah and so for me afterwards I'm gonna go in with a Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Spots um, Correcting Serum because like I said in my past vid in the past videos that I do have dark spots around my chin area my mouth area um, so what I do, I don't put this all over my face, which, which you can, but I just uh, focus on my chin area and right here. Um, a little bit under my eyes, but because I have um, pigmented under eyes, not just because dark circles or anything, but I've always had pigmented under eyes. So um, I feel like this has helped my skin um, brighten up the areas that I needed to be brightened up. And so yeah, the next one we actually just, just FYI that um, we do have some products that are the, some, same. the same because we get it from um, we get it from Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm. And so this one I've used a lot more than she has. It is the Needles No More No More Baggage by Dr. Brandt. Um, I've I think we've gotten this a few months now, and I've started using it since then. And I've got to say, this is probably one of the best eye creams that I've used so far. I've used um, drugstore, I've used high end, and I got to say, this is probably worth the buck that you're going to spend. And I'm not too sure how much it is. I'm sure it's pricey because it's Dr. Brandt, but I think it's worth it. It's lasted me for a few months now, and I still have a good amount left, like a good half. So, yeah. And then after that, I'm going to go into the Juice Beauty um, Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. And this, um, I don't concentrate it on really anywhere. I just put a few pumps, like maybe two. Um, and I'll go from my forehead down to my neck. And I just spread it down um, almost to my chest area if I have enough. If I feel like my um, neck area and chest area needs a little bit more, I'll use another pump. But this has been... Um, 
a really good product for me. Um, like I said, I don't, I, I, for me personally, I don't feel like I have that many wrinkles, but I probably have like wrinkles right here because of, you know, your under eyes and whatnot. But yeah, I've been using it and I've been loving it as well. Um, it soaks into your skin very, very quickly. Um, it doesn't leave you oily, anything like that. Okay, and so then my next two products, they're both moisturizer. One is um, from Muran. It is the Hydrodynamic um, Ultimate Moisture. So I bought this during the 21 days of Ulta Beauty. And that usually happens twice a year, I believe. And I bought this earlier in the year. And I gotta say, this is amazing because I do have really, really dry patches around my chin area, like I said. And um, it's really moisturizing. Okay, so my next moisturizer is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And this one I bought a travel size or um, just a sample size, I guess. They have it in little boxes. And I wanted to try this for a very long time because I've heard many people say that it's really nice moisturizing and I've always, I've needed that um, as I've gotten older. Um, I just needed that extra moisture for my face. So this is just an extra boost that I need if I need it. And then... Um, so to kind of lock everything all together, I use this Quay um, Rose Hair and Body Oil, and it's a pretty tiny. I got it from Sephora Playbag, and I've actually really enjoy it because um, there's a lot of oils around that's um, you know that says you're supposed to use for well not you're supposed to use if you want to use it, and um, I didn't know what the whole hype was about until I tried this. So I would have figured that this was going to leave me oily, kind of like my skin just feel like it's slipping in oil pretty much, but it doesn't. It soaks into your skin pretty well. Um, it do, You do feel it for like a good few minutes, like one to two minutes, but not like nothing like you're like, oh, I, I can't, I can't hang with this. I got to take it off, but nothing like that. And I would tell you otherwise, because I don't like to feel oily. Um, other than that, I'm going to get into my lips and um, I've been using this at night but during the day I use those little EOS balls just I have those a lot of those and I have them in my purse in my car in my diaper bag <laughs> so this one is called um, fruit fusion coconut water shea butter vegan lip balm this is what I've been using this is what I've been using at night um, because I feel like it's extra, it's just, it's thick. If you don't like Sticky. tackiness or stickiness, you're not going to like this. But I do wear this at night and sometimes before I put on like um, a liquid lip, I feel like the moisture just helps you, um, just helps you keep your lips moisturized. <laughs> keep your lips soft. Yeah, and soft. And so um, after I do all that, I'm going to go in. I've been liking to have like, um, not necessarily a... I guess it's a facial spray and I've been using the um, Clinique Moisture Surge face spray and um, it came with this and another little uh, um, a little item as well but I don't have it with me but this is just to give your face a little bit of freshness um, I use it usually before bed I don't use this in the morning because most of the time I'm just running around in the morning and so I, I like to feel that um, it just kind of locks in everything that I have put on my face and it just gives it that, just a lock. I don't know. It yeah. locks everything together. <laughs> it locks everything together. Okay, and then of course, last but not least, my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This I will put all over my body, even on my face if I need that extra other, you know, layer of moisture. But other than that, um, this goes all over my body. This goes on my kids, everything. Like, this is the best you guys need to try this if you guys haven't but um that's it for me that's it for our <laughs> video yeah um we don't have any more products we use we <laughs> hope this didn't um take too long we were trying to be as quick as possible but um if you guys have any questions or any comments live let us know down below we'll leave you guys our link to our instagram right here um if you guys like the looks that we're wa uh wearing uh, let us know and we can do um, a tutorial for you guys. Yeah. And we're going to also do um, an upcoming video where um, we're going to try out our products from our um, mini haul. Mini that haul. We, yeah, that we did um, earlier. So keep a lookout for that and make sure you guys click that bell to let you guys be notified to when we upload a video. Bye guys. Bye.